Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope you're having a good Sunday, um, enjoying your day off, you know, one more day before going back to work. Um, that being said, I had a couple people ask me if I was able to get Nimdo installed on my Void system, uh, because originally when I shot the video, it was not uh, working for me, so I actually used my test machine and my Arco Linux build to install Nimdo there, since uh, Nimdo .git, or Nimdo -git, excuse me, is available on the AUR. Um, that just made it easy for me. Um, I did spend a little time goofing around with it, and I was able to get it running on my Void machine. You can see right here that, uh, thing, due to my wallpaper, you can see that I'm on my Void machine. If I do it launch kitty, um, you will see that uh, I am running Void, and this is Nimble System Info. So it, it comes up as Nimble here, not Nimdo. Um, Nimble is the tool kind of it uses. I'm assuming kind of like uh, Herb's Client and the other stuff. I'm guessing I haven't read too much into it. I think that's kind of a tool Nim uses to build things or whatever. But anyway, that being said, this is Nimdo Window Manager, and this is my Void system, and it is up and running, obviously. Um, so real quick, I just wanted to go over the steps I took to get it running on Void in case you're on Void and want to try this out. Um, and then uh, in the near future here, I will have a configuration video on actually customizing this uh, Nimble or Nimdo uh, setup to let it look uh, nice and pretty. Um, that being said, uh, really what I originally tried doing was just going through and using his building instructions here basically. You know, I installed Nim and then I um, cloned his repo. I ran Nimble install and every time I'd run Nimble install I would run into an error. Um, I had a dependency issue with libxft um, so I made sure I had libxft installed. Well the problem was I didn't have libxft-devel installed. So if you're running into that issue on void go ahead and go to the void source packages and install libxft-devel along with libxft. Um, once I did that I had no more issues with um, uh, dependencies uh, but when I would try to run the nimble install I would get a error about you know the version of nim I have installed not being the most current version or being at least X version you know I was behind on my version so I looked through and tried to figure out how to update my nim version um, so I actually just kinda looked here and saw he uses a tool called choose nim so I did a little googling real quick and I found choose nim right here on github so you can go to dom96 and there's choose nim that's on github and if you scroll down a little bit um, you can see here installation and they have a windows and a unix section um, in the unix section right here i used the curl command um, so basically what i did is i uh, cd'd into my dot local programs and then i have a directory in there for nimdo and that's where i cloned my nim my nimdo uh, repository i tried nimble install it failed i just tro tried to choose nim update stable before i even installed choose nim not knowing what it was really and it failed obviously so I went back up a directory to my dot local programs out of the Nimbo, Nimdo directory and I did the curl command for the Nim or for the choose Nim repo um, once I did that I cd'd back into Nimdo and I tried Nimble install um, and uh, that didn't work um, so I did choose Nim update stable and uh, then I did CD local programs Nimdo and choose Nim update stable, and then it, it updated my uh, Nim version. And then once I had my Nim version updated, I ran Nimble install. It ran flawlessly. I ran Nimble release, and it ran flawlessly. Uh, I did an ls real quick to make sure everything was there that I needed. Um, and then I made a directory in my home.config Nimdo. Um, and once I was there, I copied the config.default.toml from the uh, repo directory into my dot config nimdo config dot toml location um, I checked ranger real quick to make sure everything was where it needed to be and then I did a sudo dash e which basically you could do sudo edit or you know if you want to do sudo vim by all means you can but I don't recommend it um, so I did a sudo dash e and did user share x sessions and created a nimble dot desktop session to actually be able to log into it from my display manager and boom here we are um, I am in nimble or in, in nimdos it's working it's on my void system um, now all I gotta do is configure it so yeah that being said it was pretty simple once I just kinda sat down and spent a little time doing it um, you just gotta kinda run through and if you run into dependencies issues just you gotta go through and install, install those dependencies um, I highly recommend if you do install the dependencies, do the dot, do the dash develop as well. <clears throat> 
um, just to kind of cover your bases. But once you get those installed and you get Choose Nim installed and get your Nimble version or your Nim version up to the correct version, uh, you shouldn't have any more issues. Um, so yeah, that being said, uh, this is Nimdo up working on Void. Um, and I'm looking forward to configuring it and in my next few videos and kind of just showing you guys what you can do with it. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you can get Nimdos loaded up on your system now. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend before you head back to the grind tomorrow. So you guys have a great evening. God bless.